My lords, ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to episode number 26 of the Transport Fever 2 Deluxe DLC series based in the American Southwest. Starting today here in the small town of Green Bay with a nice little view of the passenger station in Green Bay. We can see one of the M300s uh, alongside on platform number 2. That's the shuttle service that runs from Green Bay to Rockford. Uh, the buses coming and going outside of the station to enable as fast a transfer of the passengers as possible. And as I said at the end of episode 25, before we got waylaid upgrading the trucking fleet, we are going to connect Green Bay to the city of Nashville. And then I'm thinking about doing a stopping service between Nashville and Carrollton that calls it to Green Bay and then into Rockford before taking the, uh, the final stretch into Carrollton and then doing the same on the return leg. So let's bring up the user interface, shall we? Let's get the date rolling straight away. 1930, just ticked over into May of 1930. Over four and a half billion in the bank and a cash flow as it stands of around about $100 million. Okay, so let's jump straight in. So the tracks at Green Bay just stop at the end of the platform at, in, uh, at this station. We do have a line right here, but this is a freight line and where possible I'd want to avoid mixing our freight and our passenger trains. But I do think we'll have to come alongside this. This here is a passenger line right here. This is the one we used in episode number 25 to get that north-south express line up into Knoxville from Nashville. So my current plan is we have two tracks here which are ready to go. We'll check that they have full availability of the passenger platforms in Nashville and then we'll run these through. We'll probably have this quad or at least triple tracked through the tunnel. We'll then break away here. We'll then come parallel with this freight line right here. Run alongside all of this so this small stretch here could end up having six tracks running down here. We then join on to the freight line very briefly before having another junction that takes us immediately, immediately away from our freight line into the station at Green Bay. In theory it all seems rather straightforward doesn't it? So first thing we want to do, like I said, is just make sure that these tracks have full connectivity to our passenger platforms and as we can see they do not. They do have full connectivity onto our freight platforms but that's no good for us. So what we're going to have to do and I don't know if this is going to work but if it will it's going to make it nice and easy and it is going to work but if we can just get a line from the outermost track across to the other outermost track like that and then convert these into double slip switches we then can get onto any of these from any of these two and then from here on out we do have access to every passenger platform so we can really pick and choose which one we want to use to take us, uh, to take us into the city of Green Bay. So this track here then, do we want to keep it quad tracked or do we want to have them rejoin into the main line? I think we might have it quad tracked actually. Have a nice bit of a expansive track in this area of the map. So we'll uh, parallel it all up as we go through the tunnel and somewhere around here is where we want to think about breaking away from this and joining in and running parallel with our freight line. So let's bring the fourth track alongside as well so everything's ready to go like that. Of course we will need to put some signals on this new stretcher track which we can do right at the end. And then what we want to do, like I said, is get this track to come 
and run parallel with this track here. Now let's see, what can we do? Well, perhaps if we had a straight piece of track there, could we bring it in like that? No, it's wanting to collide and go underneath the freight line just here, look, crossing underneath here and here, rather than just coming this way around. And in some, uh, this is one of the times when I do miss the track lane features from Railway Empire, where you can put another point and just drag it away. So we're going to have to do it uh, piecemeal almost. In fact, let's just go back to that bit of track we were just laying there. What height are we at here? Let's have a look. If we keep you level, uh, it's not giving me a track height. Maybe if I go a bit longer, eight meters. Okay. So what are we at up here? Nine meters. Okay, so we're there or thereabouts. So at worst, we can keep this level. Now this is going to be a fairly tight corner and radius here. I think if we can keep it above 60 miles an hour, we're going to be in a good position. So that's the target we're going to aim for for this. Anything above 60, like so. We might have to slow down a bit here. Oh no, we can uh, 55, 59, 60. There we go. So it does kick out a little bit as we can see. But it's going to work and do what we need it to do, which is the main thing, even if it looks perhaps a little bit strange. Okay, so now let's get the outer radius and just bring that all the way through. It's going to snap parallel, so it's going to be nice and tidy, like that. How does it look? It doesn't look too bad, if I'm being honest. Um, could have been a lot, lot worse. And from this side, yeah, that looks pretty good as well. Okay, then, so back to the track lane. What we'll do here is... For this part, we will just have it triple tracked as we go through and share the tunnel that the freight line is currently utilising. And we'll keep it parallel all the way down here, past this busy junction, or, well, it's not, I don't know if it's that busy actually, but it's uh, got quite a few tracks and quite a few things going off down here. And you're not snapping parallel, that's a little bit unfortunate. Why are you opting not to do that? Are we going to have to do you bit by bit? Yes, we are. We get there in the end. Okay, so yep, let's keep this. Like, ah, okay, it's uh, doing the thing where it collides, or it's saying it's having a collision with the uh, the signal there, but we can squeeze on by and convince it that we're allowed to do this. Okay. Are we doing it again? Is there another signal here or something that's causing us issues? I can't see one, so... Yeah, I think it's just deciding to be a little bit awkward today. We've got a signal there, but we can sneak on past that without the game getting too upset with us. So yeah, as you look at this now, it does look like a very busy stretch uh, of track. We've got six lanes of track uh, temporarily right here. And what's happened there? Yeah, that's not quite right, is it? Let's just redo that bit. Because it didn't stay parallel for some bizarre reason and now it looks like it's eaten a stretch of track here which I'm sure it actually hasn't but it just wants to uh, act like it has right there we go that's all parallel why has that happened not sure what's happened there but maybe if we ah that is very very unusual Right, I think we're going to have to redo this bit because it's being silly buggers. I'm sure the trains were, would have carried on up and down there without any problem, but it didn't look very nice. So let's try that again. I'm not sure what the issue was right there. It was almost like we were parallel, but we weren't actually parallel because this new passenger line we were building looked like it was uh, elevated against the freight line, which it shouldn't have been. It should have been at the same height. Right, let's get these two connected together. Have you stopped being silly? Yes, you have. Hopefully now this outside track will play ball as well. There we go. Okay, so what we'll do is, perhaps between this set of signals and this set of signals here, is where we'll 
cross over. Now you're playing silly buggers again. Let's uh, see what's happening here. Is that staying parallel properly? Yes, it is. The track lane tool uh, can be a bit temperamental after the Dulux DLC update. I'm not sure what's happened, but yeah, you get there in the end. It just can be a bit finicky, that's all. Right, let's keep you at the same height and check the status of the overlap. Yeah, that is a uh, that's pretty horrendous. What if you do that? It's good on this one, as we can see. What about over here? Yeah, you're not very good there, are you? So we're gonna have to find a, a middle point here. And now we're getting collisions. Right. So how's that? That looks okay there, and it looks okay there. So let's try that. Hopefully the the outer track will be just as just as nice. Let's see. Yeah, and yep, that's fine. We could have just connected in and then immediately connected back out again, but uh, it doesn't really matter. The the overlap looks okay, better than it was right at the start anyway, and we are over. Okay, so where's our station? There it is. So that's where we want to head. So let's just go ahead bring in a straight shot connection like this it's dropping two meters which is fine it's not too much of a gradient change connect that in as well and what platform are we going to be using here well we've only got one platform in service and that is platform number two what i think we'll probably end up doing here is switching this service onto this outermost platform and then one direction as we're passing through towards Carrollton, we shall use platform number one. And then as we're returning from Carrollton, we shall use platform number two. And this local service to Rockford, as we just said, you'll drop on to platform number three. Okay, fine. Let's just get this connected in. We don't need it. We're not going to use it, I don't think. But just for completion's sake, we'll give them access there. And perhaps just do something like this if we can. And it's being weird. There we go. Again, we're not going to use it, but just for completion's sake, we'll put something like that in as well. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is here at Green Bay, change you onto platform number three. You're all happy. You can get in and out without any dramas, so that's great. So we'll stop here and then we're going to carry straight on down. So this is all fine because obviously it's currently in use for the Rockford line. So we know we've got no problems here. What about over here? How are we going to organize this? Perhaps we will. I think what we'll do for this is if we go to station configuration tool, lay down some tracks there get these tracks connected in like that and do they have a way to get back over no they don't can we squeeze in a diamond here it's, again this is where the track lane tool decides to be a bit funny but oh, we had it we had it there it is if we do that what we can then do is go into terminals over here the Carrollton to Rockford line will drop them onto platform 4. And then the Rockford to Green Bay line will drop them over to platform 1. But we'll just wait for that train to pick up its passengers and then depart before we switch them over. There we go. So you now go on to terminal 1. Yep, and you're going into there, that's fine. So again, what we'll do, like we're going to do in Green Bay. On the way through to Carrollton, we'll use platform two, and then on the return journey, we will use platform number three. So this is all fine. We know this is going to work all okay. So now we're actually in Carrollton itself. I think we can use any platform we wish, which is great. We should have a couple of spares. Uh, yeah, we do. It looks like platform number four is the first spare one we have available. 
So let's, well first of all we need to do some signals don't we on the track that we laid between Green Bay and Nashville. So let's just very quickly chuck some of those signals down between those stations. So let's get ourselves a signal there and then we'll drop to the uh, the single light lamp, the, sorry, the single lamp signals and put some blocks in along here. And what we'll do is if we put our blocks on our freight line like that, that should give our passenger line priority, especially if we make it an elongated block for the passenger line at this junction right here. And then from here and out, it's just putting some blocks down. And now we're getting close to where we're going to be. Oh no, this is all triple track, sorry, quad track. So yeah, we're not getting close to a junction yet. Maybe put a set of signals just before the tunnel there. Let's get some dwarf signals actually inside the tunnel and let's have them sit level with those signals just there. We emerge from the tunnel and we'll go back to the standard blocking signal here. And let's just put, let's go for a three head signal. I don't like how close they sit to the, uh, to the other track but It'd be the same even if we use a left-hand signal, but uh, yeah, it'll it'll work. It might look a bit close to the trains on a cab ride, but it will work. So let's get ourselves a new service then. So we want to run from here. Let's change that colour. Let's give them a nice sky blue colour. So we're coming from Nashville. We then want to head to Green Bay. After Green Bay, we then want to head to Rockford. You should have reallocated your platform assignment. No, you haven't. That's unfortunate. So you want to be on platform one there. That's better. That's what you need to be doing. Then you're coming down to Green, uh, sorry, into Rockford. Here we want you on platform number two. You will complain because you can't, oh no, you can get back. That's fine. And then after Rockford, you're coming all the way up into Carrollton there and let's put you onto platform is platform number four utilized no it's not so let's use platform four and then what we want you to do is not head from there to uh, Nashville but we want you to come back this way calling back at Rockford on um, platform three wonderful and then you're coming back to Green Bay on platform number two. Yes, that's right. And then you're heading back to Nashville. And what platform are you on over here in Nashville? You're on that small platform. You're probably better served on platform number four. No, platform number five. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's that, that'll work. That's what we want. And you're using these new tracks that we've just laid for you because it's the easiest way to get there, or the only way you can get there, really. And everything looks good. So let's just give this new line a name. So RP, and this will be the... What do we want to call it? Nashville. I might use the backslash there, or the forward slash, I should say, uh, for any stopping services so if we say Nashville to Carrollton like that and then if we tell ourselves that this forward slash basically means there's other stations in between but these are the two start and end points Nashville to Carrollton I don't think we're using the uh, the slash at any other point no we're not so these would be your direct services all of these here where it's got the back to back so that's station to station and this is station to station in effect but there's calling at other stations in between yeah why not that'll work okay so let's get ourselves a train for this new service which depot do we want to use I think we can use this one right here so let's go buy vehicles we don't need anything overly powerful or fancy for this, it's just a local stopping service. But at the same time we don't want to be using a diesel shunter. Uh, well we've got the 
Atlantic on perhaps maybe a Mikado for this one. Or we could have a, a couple of M300s, say something like that. Mm, yeah, why don't we do that? And let's get, shall we say four of those? That's 30 million. Yeah, we'll do that. Sky blue. And onto the new line we've just created, and away they go. Okay, so that's done. Uh, perhaps a little bit more tricky than I thought it was going to be, only because the track laying tool was being a little bit awkward, unnecessarily so, you might say. What do we want to do now? Well, hmm, I am thinking... This service here, Nashville to Carrollton, as we can see, it's a very, very popular service. I think we might electrify that and have some beastie trains running down here. And also upgrade the, uh, the tracks to high speed. What colour is this service? It's a dark green. So this is the track here we'd want to electrify all of this. Shall we do that? Get, in a, get our first electric train running. Why not? So the first we want to do is go to tracks. We want to upgrade. And we want to upgrade with catenary as well. So if I were going to have to do this. Uh, can we upgrade? I thought you could. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it was possible to use the upgrade tool and it would include your stations. I'm sure you, could, you used to be able to do that. You could uh, actually upgrade the tracks at the station, unless I'm forgetting something. Well, for the time being, let's just get these upgraded here. Um, let's not do that bit just yet. I, we might not need to do that, you see. So Let's get that bit done. Right, so why... I'm sure, yeah, I'm, I'm almost certain... You used to be able to... Oh, is it? Ah, maybe it's that one there. That's the one. This is how you do it. I knew there was a way to do it. I was just using the uh, the wrong tool, apparently. Anyway, so, yeah. And this is coming all the way out here. And if we zoom out, you do upgrade bigger chunks at a time to make it that little bit faster. And it's the train to Nashville we are wanting to upgrade, which is going to be this one down here. So we don't need to upgrade up that way yet. At some point we obviously will. But let's do this way first of all. So there will be some services running on the high speed train with catenary. We won't be making use of the uh, the high speed track or catenary just yet. But that's fine. Get it all upgraded. Oh, make sure we upgrade every little bit because they will complain if we do not the handy thing about this is it does upgrade fairly long chunks of the track at once so it does make it uh, a relatively painless procedure to do especially when you're using the uh, the right tools for it and I can't remember what platform they're coming into so I think the best thing to do here is let's just go ahead and upgrade all of these tracks here that run into our passenger platforms here in Nashville like so that way we're guaranteed that whichever platform they're on they're they're going to be happy and they're going to be able to run correctly there I think that's uh, I don't think we've missed anything I think we're ready to go I tell you what let's upgrade this depot as well there we go. Okay, so now if we go here, manage these vehicles, edit these vehicles. Now these electric trains, the MILW, very expensive to run at 2 million per year. But they're exceptionally powerful, so we don't need too many of them. In fact, just, yeah, we we'll just get away with just one of them. And let's chuck the heavyweight parlours on. And we can probably go to about 133 capacity and still be a better rating than our current train. 
75 in 90 miles an hour, 62, sorry, 75 in 90 seconds, or 62 in three minutes. So half the time in increased speed. Yeah, it's obviously uh, more expensive in terms of maintenance and running costs, but it's fine. And I don't think we're gonna need a caboose on the electric loco, so we'll, we'll forgo that as well, put you on there. 48 million and no electric path so we must have missed something then so let's go back down here and let's see what we have missed it's probably a small junction somewhere or something like that let's just get all this bit upgraded oh i know what i've done i've upgraded to high speed tracks but i haven't upgraded to catenary the whole way so that's what we need to do as well so rather than uh, going through all of that again, I'll just quickly get this done and we'll put a little cut in the episode at this point and we'll pick it back up once all of this has been upgraded to electrified track as well. Okay, so I think I've got it all covered now. So let's go back here. Let's go just, we'll just replace them these, the, uh, this time, make it a little bit quicker. So it's the MILW, passenger cars, heavyweight parlor. We want these to be the, uh, the same color as the, in fact, we may as well do the train as well. So let's just, quickly uh, undo that and put you on in the same colour. Passenger, heavyweight parlour, we had 133 capacity, 48 million, there we go, they're happy. So yeah, these might now not make as much money because uh, they're more expensive to run, but we do have our first electrified trains, although it's gone a bit shy and it's currently hiding inside one of its passenger wagons, but let's just speed it up so it does its loading processes a little bit faster so we can see it in all its glory come on don't be shy here we go let's head out here and we'll see this pick up speed very very quickly indeed and there we go there's our first electric train on the map of this series I think what we might do as well is check perhaps on some of the uh, passenger lines up on the northern side of the map and see if it's a potential to have any of other mainline services upgraded to electrified trains and services as well. But it's our first what you might class as a proper looking uh, mainline service due to its length. It's a uh, six coach, no, a seven coach service, so it certainly looks the part. Okay, so that's fine. That will go about its business nicely. So yeah, let's head up to the northern side of the map and let's see if we can do something similar in and around Knoxville with any of our services. Well, we seem to be doing okay on our main lines. We can see here we've got a decent amount of people being picked up, but uh, it looks like it's nothing we can't handle at this point in time. So maybe we'll hold off in and around Knoxville for the time being. Uh, we'll have a look at uh, New Haven, but... I think we're okay in New Haven. We have only got the one service to Haywood and running such an expensive service on a local stopping service just it, 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 even on easy it seems a bit odd so we'll reserve that electri uh, electrification for the main line at the moment. We could do the Carrollton to Knoxville uh, but we just don't have the, uh, the demand at the moment. I know we just have We've had a train just leave, but look at that, it's only got 38 out of 76, so I think we can stick with what we've got for now on the uh, the main north-south uh, service. Let's head to Nashville. What about this north-south service here, which is Nashville to Knoxville? Yeah, 78 out of 114, so again, I think we can just hold off on that for now. So it is just the one to uh, between Nashville and Carlton for the time being. And here they are, they're about to pass each other in uh, all their electrified glory. 75 miles per hour, so the, uh, the current speed holders on the map. I'm sure that won't remain that way for very long as we progress through the years. We're in nearly into 1933. I don't know if we do get any new unlocks in 33, but it will be... In fact, let's just speed through to 33 and we shall see. And if we don't get any unlocks in the in this one, then we shall uh, call it a day for today's episode. If we do, then we'll have a look and have a play about. Um, and if it's something we want to make use of, then of course we will do so. 
but yeah like I said if not we'll just jump on our electrified train for our cab ride outro which one's gonna be the best option I guess the other one into Nashville is oh it's just arriving uh, we got the Junkers and uh, that was it so yeah nothing of interest to us at this point in time so let's pause the date now drop back down to normal speed you've just pulled into the station so fortuitous timing right there and of course as you leave we'll hop on board for the cab ride let's just speed it up there get the loading process done as quickly as we can there we go we're about to flip around let's hop on board okay here we go oh no we've stopped just waiting for clearance there as the uh, the stopping service rolls into town so thank you very much i hope you've enjoyed the episode and uh, continue to enjoy the series overall as per comments feedback and suggestions more than welcome either down below or over on the discord channel a link to that is available in the description down below as always at this time a very special thank you to those of you who have pledged over on patreon your support is fantastic and it does mean a lot and uh, it does go towards the costs of running the channel uh, insofar as it helps pay for the uh, the discord server and things like that so thank you very much indeed to you guys but for now all that remains for me to say is as always ladies and gentlemen take very good care of yourselves it's tata for now